everybody. My skin looks so glowy today. Today is Monday. It's actually Valentine's Day, hence the balloons and the giant bunch of flowers that I need to arrange. They're very pretty. I love them. So this morning we are having like a little bit of a last minute change of plans normally it would just be a very normal working day for both myself and ryan but he actually has had his studio sessions today cancelled so we have decided that we're going to go out for brunch which i'm very much looking forward to i actually haven't been out for brunch in a really really long time I really fancied like an acai bowl or like a smoothie bowl that kind of thing today so we're going to one of my like favorite brighton restaurants hopefully it's still good because you know sometimes over time things change things aren't as good anymore i haven't been there in so long i haven't actually been out to eat really apart from like this weekend in so long. Yesterday was the first time this year I think we ate out. Hello, you're being very distracting. Would you like to go outside? Go on. I find it so distracting when I can just hear like She's just standing there looking at the gate. Cool. You live your best life, hon. I'm gonna show you my outfit quickly before we go. In an ideal world, I would have liked for this to be a really cute day date dressy outfit, but it's freezing and I'm actually, I've been in a really funky mood. I was actually meant to start this vlog yesterday. <laughs> I've been in a really funky mood for the whole weekend. My phone alerted me. I think I actually said in one of my last vlogs that PMS is coming up and oh boy, it was really, really bad. I think especially because I've been feeling so much like happier on a day to day basis recently. I, what is going on here? I really, really felt it and I was just, having to warn people before i speak to them basically this reel in a rage and it was it really came out of nowhere and it's kind of shocking so yeah i just am on the tail end of that and i just want to be very very comfortable and like i said it's also absolutely freezing the weather the weather yesterday was awful we got so rained on going up for dinner basically we're going for cute but comfy and to be honest i'm really okay with that okay so i actually have a little white long sleeve crop top on from zara and then i've got a all saints black long kind of like wool trench coat on i've got a zara scarf which i love and i really like wearing it with this bag they kind of like the i like the mix of different kind of checked patterns yeah i really like the combination of them and the colors complement each other really nicely i've then got my h&m leggings on which i have had for years i think since like 2014 and then my adenola socks i get a lot of questions on my socks at the moment which is crazy but yeah adenola make very very nice socks and they sometimes do discounts on their accessories as well so it's a good one to keep an eye out for and then i've just got my nike leopard tick trainers which i'm loving at the moment and then my ysl sunnies and other stories do a really good dupe for those i'll see if they're still in stock and then all of my jewelry is monica vinida and this video is actually going to contain a paid partnership with monica vinida which i'll talk to you about later when I get the chance to properly kind of like sit and chat with you but right now I have about four minutes until I need to leave for brunch but yeah today I have on my chunky gold chain from them chunky little hoop earrings and then I've also got some chunky rings as well these are really really cute I really like these and then on my other hand I have the little gold diamond band and then a chain ring these are really good if you are gifting someone a ring but you don't actually know their ring finger size and yeah it's like a little diamond bar on a chain and it's actually a lot more sturdy than you would think i'm really impressed with this and i actually love the way the two look stacked together and then i also have this bracelet on as well which is a sneak peek from the collection that i'm going to talk you through later but yeah this is the outfit in full might even try and get a quick pick of it today but yeah i have to go now because i'm really late i love how i said i was running late and ryan is actually now not ready so i'm just actually going to show you my flowers quickly before we go because they are so so pretty i mean you probably saw them in the intro but we need to take another moment for them look at these i love them there's something about red roses that i'll just never get over and i love i love these i really like the mix of red roses and eucalyptus that kind of like silvery bluey green the colors just complement each other so so well and i've got a balloon oh, i've actually got two balloons <laughs> and then ryan really went all out and also got this which really reminds me of an Instagram that I took back in like 2017. Does anyone remember that? 2016. And these were our cards. This was my one for Ryan because we love a food card. And this was Ryan's card for me. Shall I show you them what you wrote inside? If you like. It's not inappropriate, don't worry guys. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you were an OOTD, I would pick you. <laughs> I'm probably going to be the only one dying at that, but... I love it. Also just need to take a little moment for this flower arrangement because it's on the outs, but I'm so obsessed with this. This little marble tray was one of my best purchases of last year, I think, for my house. It just displays like flowers and candles and things so nicely.
having my Joe and the Juice smoothie. So apologies if there is anything in my teeth. It's a really delicious smoothie, but it does make a bit of a mess. I'm just topping up my lipstick. I always get asked which one this is, and it's Charlotte Tilbury Dance Floor Princess. It comes in this really fun packaging, and it is the nicest like very light pink i really love it i actually was watching a vlog back from last summer last night and i was like oh that's a really good lip color and i knew immediately which one it was because there's literally nothing else like this in my collection it's like what i wish mac hue was it's a little bit too light and too sheer for my tastes but anyway i'm back home i have a lot of flowers to sort out i think i will have shown you but i picked up some flowers i ordered ages ago in town didn't really think about the fact that ryan would obviously get me flowers this month but also i had some flowers that i bought like last week or the week before but they've lasted way better than i expected them to so i still have those in the kitchen i then got sent these which are stunning stunning i'm obsessed with them they're from flower box which is one of my favorite companies to buy especially if you're buying roses to buy flowers from i also believe they do some very nice hydrangeas they basically get the flowers that are super expensive you have to like import in and you just don't get at your local like florist so i'm super grateful for them but i wasn't expecting them so <laughs> i obviously had these flowers on order and i'll be down if i'm cancelling yeah cancelling the flowers but it's just not on the cards and i'm really excited to have these flowers because they're really really beautiful there's a place in brighton called Foam. I'm gonna say it's foam or foam and they do really gorgeous dried arrangements and I'd had a dried arrangement before that had had these beautiful roses in them like really big roses much like the ones that are next to me but they were turned out as well which I'll show you what that means if you don't know in a second it's something I actually love doing to like cheaper roses that I buy for example from like I also have those they have also lasted very well Asda four pound roses you cannot go wrong but yeah when I buy my ones from Asda I actually turn them out once they like get to like them fullest you can kind of like turn the rose petals out it makes them look really expensive even though they're not but foam are very good at doing things like that and this bunch of roses is so beautiful like these are very like uniform huge gorgeous the foam ones are like all a bit different they almost look like a little bit disheveled but it's like part of the look and they're just stunning so really excited to show you those i can't wait to get them out i really need to get them out of the packaging some of them are getting a bit squished but yeah as you can see we have some of the really gorgeous big roses we have some like roses that almost look a bit peony-esque but they are definitely not peonies we've then got smaller little like creamy tone roses little pink roses big pink roses and this is what i mean by like when they're turned out yeah i just think they look incredible so yeah i'm really excited to get these into a vase i also had to buy some vases i actually have wanted some new ones for ages and ages now because i have so many that i bought some of you if you've watched me for a long time will remember when i moved into like a house in hove in like 2017 i bought a lot of vases then i was gifted a lot of vases as housewarming presents and i really haven't bought too many since i think i bought one when i moved in here and then i've since been sent like one very simple clear one and the clear one i use on repeat so i kind of knew that i wanted some more clear ones in my cupboard to have and i also knew that i needed bigger vases than the ones i currently have as well so i got one big one but then i also saw a smaller one which is just stunning like the actual shape of it is just really really gorgeous so i love that and that will probably take the place of this one down here which not many people know i don't think i've ever said this before is actually an old pasta sauce jar which I just use as a vase. So yeah, the new little one will replace that. I'll still keep that one, but I actually used to drink out of that little one, so I can have it back as a drinking glass maybe. But yeah, rambling aside, I need to do a lot of uh, flower arranging now. The best kind of chore, because that is my favorite. We also went to Joe and the Juice and I got the Re-Energize smoothie. Lauren bought one of these for me the other day when I was getting my nails done and it is honestly the best. So I picked a little one of these up whilst I was waiting for Ryan, whilst he was shoe shopping because football boot shopping is boring as hell. I had to dip out. So good. in place apologies i didn't actually do much flower arranging and i probably did a really terrible job trimming the stems so sorry if it offended anyone but it got the job done didn't it so yeah i decided to leave these in the exact arrangement they were in because they're just done so perfectly and 
actually same with the other ones in here i kept them tied down here as well so that they were just kind of left in their natural arrangement but did pull a few out just because they were poking out like a little bit too much and i just felt like a few of them could sit a little better into like the foliage so a few of them were like pulled out but i really didn't actually change that much in the end these are so gorgeous like they feel so soft i've moved my estee lauder bunch of flowers over here and put the tulips in my bedroom and then yeah the elephant in the room i have some things to unbox with you but i'm gonna save that for tomorrow because i really need to get on with some work this afternoon i have the other vase from the white company in here i'll show you that tomorrow the other one i'm just walking backwards and forwards up the house but the other one this is what it looks like i forgot to tell you that this was the white company one <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so this is the white company one that I bought, just really huge and clear and fits a big bouquet into it really, really nicely. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with some work now. I have my laptop here. I'm going to be trying not to headbutt my roses consistently whilst I work. I actually have a new video to get live tonight. Tonight, the uh, like big life update slash what's going on with the house goes live. So I really hope you enjoy it. It's a long one. It's a really, really long one, but I really hope that you guys like it it was, was really good when i like finally like do a big old catch up with you guys yeah once i've done that i need to get some bits for dinner and then i'm just gonna chill this evening ryan has football once he gets back we're just gonna chill together so yeah i will catch up with you fully in the morning talk you through all of that i've got so much stuff that has arrived to talk you through so i will catch up with you tomorrow because we have reached that point in the day 20 past four where my brain can no longer talk to camera anymore so <laughs> i'll be back with you in the morning cue my evening montage why have i gone dark i'm never sitting here again never again there was no evening montage because i fell asleep on the sofa so you're gonna have a morning montage instead and yes i look borderline insane but i'm trying not to keep stuff like that let me live Good morning everybody i feel so tired today i think i slept a bit funny you know when your whole body is just a bit achy not ideal but we're powering on through i've done my hair and makeup you will have seen i did my hair with rollers which i've been doing a lot this week i just did a little amazon order just for some basic rollers and it's been really helping like i put a little bit of oil in my hair first thing in the morning obviously brush it through and then just roll my hair up into the i think it's six little rollers that i have i've ordered some more so that i can get like a more precise roll if that makes sense and have a whole like head full of rollers but they're doing fine for now and they really like when i washed my hair i just did a little blow dry thingy on the ends and then put it into rollers to like set and then i do the same every single morning and the little kind of roll on the end just seems to bounce back really really nicely my hair does have a very good memory but this hair wash i also used a mousse as well which i think has helped massively so i used this one from Kerastas. It's quite spenny, I believe. It's called the K Mousse Buffon Luxurious Volumizing Mousse. I think it has definitely really helped with my hair's got good like styling memory anyway but i think it's really helped especially on this side the hair is a bit more damaged on this side and the front usually just as you can see it doesn't hold the same as this side i think it's really helped and i just have been styling my hair like heat styling it so much less which is amazing because i'm just like i said in my last vlog i had a nightmare that all my hair was like breaking off <laughs> it's because i have one little bit of hair here and i can't tell if it's baby hair or broken hair and it's like set me off but anyway i'm just at home today chilling getting stuff done just an average day you can tell i'm really in chill mode because i'm wearing my h&m set which i'll show you in a second in case you haven't seen it the full little ootd i might film a reel today i'm just gonna see where the day takes me get some stuff ticked off my to-do list so this is my little 
outfit of the morning i throw this on a lot in the mornings because it is really warm but also just really relaxed and super super comfy so it's just perfect for when i'm having my coffee i'm getting ready i'm not quite sure what outfit i'm changing into if i don't do a walk in the morning this is normally what i wear so this set is from h&m and it's like a cashmere and cotton i believe it is blend it's super super soft like i said really nice and warm i'm just wearing my white company slippers with it at the moment some days i throw my uggs on with it if it's really really cold so that is my outfit my lip color is anastasia beverly hills crush liquid lip with feed muse aphrodite lip liner i always find that such a mouthful and then we're going to talk about jewelry this is where we have an integrated pay for partnership with monica vinader which i is a brand that you guys know i love so much and i'm so excited to tell you about their new collection so the jewelry i'm wearing today is from monica vinader Canada's new collab with Mother of Pearl. They have a new 12 piece collection that is out, which is beyond stunning. So you may have clocked these pieces in my last vlog. I was sneakily wearing them. I love them. I think they work especially well with this H&M set because the stones in them are a little bit kind of like gray, bluey, navy, really, really gorgeous. The whole collection is 100% recycled gold vermil and it's in like a satin gold finish, which is honestly stunning. I will do like real close-ups of these so you can see the finish of the gold. It's unlike anything else I own. So, so beautiful. So I've got some hoop earrings, which are just lovely. My little hoops are also Monica Benedict as well. You will have seen those a number of times. I wear them all the time. And then we have this necklace, which is a mix mixture of these gorgeous pearls which are like all so unique like each one of them looks so different and then again we've got the satin recycled gold for mill on this side a little clasp here which is how you undo it and do it up and there are also little pendants which you can attach here i'll show you one in a second because i have one styled up somewhere else but you could pop a little pendant on here as well i have this ring which is just beyond stunning there are a few rings in the range they're really beautiful and they stack so well together like the whole range as with like lots of monica benedict pieces are based around like stacking and being really versatile and i'll show you how i style up the pieces that i have slightly differently but yeah you can make really cool combinations if you've got a few of the rings that they stack so well and then i also have this bracelet which matches the necklace is just absolutely gorgeous i was wearing this yesterday you may have clocked it and like i said this has a little pendant on it which is so gorgeous again in that satin gold finish which i am just beyond obsessed with and this pendant can go on the bracelet on the necklace i also have a gold chain i'll show you that shortly and it works really really well just on a gold chain as well so really versatile and you can have the bracelet without the pendant as well as i did yesterday you can have the necklace with or without you can have the pendant on a longer chain shorter chain you can get one of those ones from monica vinida that is really easily adjustable I love those because you can literally have it like choker level or you can have it much longer they're so great and both brands are really hot on sustainability as well so like I said everything is 100% recycled gold for mill and all of the packaging that the range comes in as well is 100% recyclable so yeah that's how I styled those pieces this morning and like I said I've just got more Monica Vinader hoop earrings in the rings on this hand are also Monica Vinader these are stunning I'm obsessed with these absolutely love them I think they look really cool with my matte pink nails at the moment as well so just finished filming an outfit roll made an absolute mess of things as usual put my dressing gown down for two seconds and it's looking like it's been claimed and i'm not getting it back we'll give up the dressing gown if you give me a belly rub mum okay so now i've finished filming i was actually filming yesterday's outfit but with a slight tweak like sometimes i wear things and i'm like yes i need to do a reel on this but actually i would tweak this so it's basically yesterday's outfit but different top but now i've just gotten into my very cozy cardigan lots of you may remember this i wore it all the time in the autumn before coats were like a necessity this is from house of cb it's really big chunky it's like just super slouchy it's got like threads going everywhere i don't even care it's just so comfortable and then underneath i've got the black top that i was wearing for the reel which is i believe from misguided it's just a high neck crop which is amazing and then i've got h&m leggings on adenola socks night trainers and then i've got mostly the same jewelry as before but i've taken off the bracelet and necklace and then i've swapped the pendant out onto this chain which is really lovely and it's also from monica benedict this is one of the 18 karat gold vermil adjustable chains so i love them so i could bring it up to here if i wanted it just means if i've got a shirt with a specific neckline and i want to kind of like accentuate it in any way or bring the necklace above the neckline i don't have to faff about switching lots of different chains i also don't have lots of different chains because i only have these monica vinader ones because they are so useful so yeah just another way that you could wear the pendants they also have these really gorgeous like pearl 
pendants as well which i absolutely love i think they are stunning and will work so well on the bracelet especially like that is how i would love to wear it but they look really really cool on like a long chain as well they have a lot of styling inspo on their instagram which they're just starting to put out now because the collection actually launched today and i've been looking at all of the images and it's just styled so beautifully so definitely go and check that out if you need more inspo or if you want to see the full 12 piece range i can't say 12 piece range i've said that like five times now i can't say it but yeah i love this combo you will have seen me wearing this in the last vlog so now i'm going to make some lunch i'm starving and i'm really craving something very very sweet so i'm gonna go with one of my specialities like at the moment i either do like a scrambled tofu for lunch which i love and i do have sausages left over from last night which would work really nicely together however i am in a really sweet kind of mood so i think i'm gonna have some yogurt granola all the fruit all the add-ons peanut butter and gonna have that for lunch continuity error between the thumbnail and right now it's because i just did the thumbnail in a different top because the lighting in here is so bad anyway i'm going to take you through a lot of my posts i have so many i have so many things we have some amazon bits we've got i think some pr we've got some bits that i ordered myself we have a what i'm going to call a full unboxing of my most recent luxury purchase because i have actually worn it out of the house already but for full effect in this video i thought i would do the unboxing with you which i didn't get the chance to do in the moment because it was like eight o'clock at night when i got it we have that we have white company bits we've got a little bit of space NK PR. okay we'll get started with space NK because it's in my hand so we have some new bits that have arrived rare beauty has launched on space NK. i've been so excited to try all of these pieces so we have a contour stick which looks like this i love a contour stick if anyone remembers OGs will remember back in the day the Clinique one was my jam. I still have that. I always have one in my kit. We have a 4-in-1 mist, which I'm very intrigued by. Oh, by the way, everything comes in like packaging that is very minimalist. Very cute. Very minimal. I actually really like the packaging. We have a mascara. I really like this mascara tube. It's like a very light, milky pink. Ooh, that looks like it could be a goodie. We have... A gloss it might be a little bit dark for me not sure on that one we have a matte red lip which i am so excited to give a whirl we have an eyeliner i'm loving like the design of this i think it's so cool it's a very thick liner nib but it could be good it could be good i'm very excited to try this love the packaging so much we then have a primer i love the packaging i love the little pinky base that it's got it's so very cute and then this blush look at that i feel like this would be such an amazing blush as like a blush eyeshadow lip product type of vibe it's very pigmented i was not expecting that i mean a little goes a very long way with this shall i do we dare this could go horribly wrong because i have powder it needs a bit of a blend not with my fingers okay okay we might have a new favorite be right back i need to go wash my hands okay i'm back okay i have my amazon bit we have more rollers <laughs> yay and then we have something which is to go alongside some of my other amazon purchases this is a real routine amazon purchase for me oh this one looks so good so i bought a few new syrups whilst i was topping up on my favorite syrup of the moment that i've like basically used up i got ice cinnamon roll which looks really good we have my favorite of the moment which is the vanilla one ryan got me that for my birthday and i'm obsessed with it i basically have an oat milk vanilla latte now every single morning it's delish i got salted caramel sometimes i love caramel sometimes i don't i thought it'd be a nice one to have just in case and i know guests will really love it basically everyone comes around and they're like can i have a coffee like the ones in the youtube videos <laughs> i'm like sure but let's hope they live up to the hype and then i also got salted caramel mocha which is my favorite or one of my favorites that is my little amazon order basically on repeat at the moment is rollers and syrups and then have a little pretty lavish 
order. I picked up this knit, which I thought would work really nicely. It's kind of like a dressy knit, so perfect for like when you want to be warm this time of year, but you also want to look kind of like really cute. I thought this would work really beautifully with like some leather trousers. So I've been meaning to pick this up since it launched and I finally got around to it. It's like an off shoulder little black knit. Which is so cute, it's got really long sleeves. I'm really excited to try that on. And we also have a very big package here. And I think it's come from France, so I think I know what it is. It's been a while since I've had a big fashion PR delivery. Um, little package from now and this is a French brand, so I'm scared. The internet seems to be telling me that I should pronounce the tea. I'm not 100% sure, so Claudie Perlot. Claudie Perlot. Tell you what, when I have children, they're taking French lessons. But anyway, they very kindly have sent me something. And this is part of their collaboration with New Era. We have a little Facebook app, which I love. And we've got this lovely navy hoodie. I love a navy. It's so funny, I've been wearing navy more and one of you commented on my last video saying that you think that navy is my colour. And it's so funny to me because that is my school uniform, or was my school uniform colour. So now I have real PTSD associated with the colour navy. But yeah, it's actually really cute. I think it would be really nice to style up with like Grey coats, tan coats, you know when you just don't want to go for black, but you still want to go for like a dark colour. I think this would be really nice for styling up with various different coats. It feels really great as well, like really, really soft. Mm. So yeah, that was very kind of them. Do I look like Joe from you in this hat? Possibly. But yeah, the hoodie is super cute. Very, very grateful for that. What else do we have? I think I've got through... Oh, I need to show you my little white company purchase. Oh, I love it. It's just so nice. Can you see that like almost like scalloped edging? I just think it's so beautiful and it feels like it looks like it should be ribbed, but it's like completely like smooth the whole way around. Just really, really lovely. Really simple, but it still has a little bit of interest to it. I think it's going to be lovely for my smaller bunches of flowers. This one will be really nice, I think, for the island because I don't actually, as much as I always have my tall, big bunches of flowers on the island, I actually think it suits a smaller, like shorter bunch of flowers. And then I like to have the taller vases here because when you're like looking over the eye line, if you have a tall vase on the island, it like disrupts your view of like the whole kitchen. Whereas if you just have a smaller vase, it's like effective and cute, but then your eyes kind of like carry on traveling through the room through to this bit here. And then you see these flowers on the table. It's all very nice. And then finally, this is a new bag purchase. It's a pre-loved bag purchase. My friend Carla actually, she has some very good clients and she occasionally resells things for people. And this, I could not pass up the chance to get my hands on. It's so cute. And I've been wanting a bag in this style for a very long time. Lots of you will know that I almost bought a similar one recently, but nowhere near the same as this. It's like similar, but not similar, if that makes sense. It's so pretty. So this is one of the, I believe it's like the Coco handle bags. Just going from what I see them being called on Vestiaire off the top of my head. But I'm sure there's so many of you that will know way better than I do. But it's in the gorgeous caviar leather and it's this like grey colour. But the way it catches the light, it's almost got a blue. Like it really shows up on camera. It shows up very like blue. It's got silver hardware and it just is a really lovely like dressy bag. Especially because of the size of it as well. It's I think the small size. It's so cute. It fits a really good amount in it for if I'm like going out on a night out and I want to be able to like carry like a decent amount for an evening out. So like my keys, my card holder, my phone, vlogging camera, lipstick, all of those kind of things that I'd need for like a dinner out. This is perfect. But it can also make like a cute day bag as well with the right outfit. I think this one looks lovely with an all black outfit, like very, very smart. It's kind of like a nice dressy small day bag, if that makes sense, but could be perfect for an evening out as well. It's one of the reasons that I have been eyeing up bags in this style for quite a while now, because I do think they make very, very versatile bags. And this one is just in a slightly different colorway to anything else I have in my wardrobe. And that feels really nice. I feel like this would work in the summer with like a white dress, with certain styles of white dress, not with everything, but like, black dresses in the summer, worn with like the long chain strap just to make it a bit more like casual and everyday, but also works beautifully with like leather trousers and a shirt in the evening. I really like the fact it's not a plain black bag, but it's also not a like bold color. So I think it's filling a really lovely gap in my wardrobe. And because it's pre-loved, I've got it at a good price as well, which I'm really, really happy with. So yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's got that lovely red lining. It's got a divider in the middle, pocket at the back, and a pocket on the external back of the bag just really really gorgeous and you can remove the chain as well which i just 
I love. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's so cute. I feel like it's definitely solidified the fact that I would definitely like to have a CC Trendy in black with gold hardware at some point in my collection because the top handle aspect to it, but also having the chain, I just think is really lovely. And so far, I'm really happy with how easy the style has been to wear. So yeah, I feel like this was meant to be. This literally came up for sale the week that I sold, like how many bags did I sell? I think I sold like five bags. But yeah, let me know. Do you love this? What do you think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I'd love to know your thoughts. I personally just, I'm enjoying it so much. I think it's such a cool colour and not one that I ever would have picked for myself, but I was like, I actually love that. It's like a nice alternative for black. But anyway, I'm gonna clear up all my mess now. Be right back. just finished up doing my makeup i have one step left to do which i wanted to share with you it is such a gloomy day today it's super super stormy so there's a lot of like background noise which hopefully you guys won't be able to hear but yeah it's a bit of a crazy weather day today so unfortunately my plans have been cancelled i am just chilling at home but i thought i'd do a full face of makeup anyway very excited to show you this this is the charlotte tilbury beauty light wand in pink gasm which has been out of stock for the longest time and I finally got my hands on it and I wanted to show you guys how pretty this is. I used it yesterday and I was like, yep, okay, I understand the height. Sorry, the light's a bit crazy today. I've picked the best room I can, but everywhere else I was just like super washed out because it's like such a weird weather day. Yeah, this blush is so pretty. Just adds like a real nice glow. Like, I don't know if you can see that sheen. It's really nice. Adds like a little bit of glow and a little bit more life to the face. Yeah, this is so pretty. I also bought Peach Gasm as well, which I think is going to be such a gorgeous one for me, especially for summer when I'm like doing a real bronzy look. I'm also super happy today because my skin has calmed down dramatically. I had this big lump on my face. It's still there, but it's much better. I've also used these two products on my face today. I've got the Rare Beauty Mascara on, which is so good so good i don't know if you're gonna be able to properly see look at how long these lashes are i always think if you can tell my eyelashes are long when i've got eyeliner on you know it's a good mascara because normally the eyeliner kind of takes away from it a little bit i also put it on my story yesterday it saved on my beauty highlight without eyeliner if you want to see it but it's so nice and wispy and then i also used the rare beauty bronzing contour stick which is very subtle in happy soul it's really nice it gives like a good contour but in terms of like bronziness i think i would probably need a little bit extra on top of this so yeah i'm definitely not looking bronzy today and i did put quite a lot on so yeah it's definitely more of a contouring shade but i'm interested to see if they do like a warmer shade because that is much more of a contour kind of tone for me anyway but yeah that's my makeup look for the day and then i've got vive cherub's kiss on my lips which is a slightly darker pink than i would normally go for but it works really beautifully with this blush and then for my outfit today i'm just wearing my pretty lavish chloe lloyd bridget i think this is the bridget top it's like asymmetric really really cute i think it's now sold out sadly but i will link it just in case it comes back into stock and then i've got some river island jeans these ones have fake pockets and i'm always <laughs> going to do that and then i just look really really stupid and then i've just got my white company slippers on it's fairly like considering it's stormy it's actually kind of warm today so i'm really really comfortable in this and then for earrings i've got my monica vinida mother of pearl hoop earrings in and then the really simple chain with the pendant on the end which is gorgeous and i love that the chain is adjustable because this neckline is slightly higher than i would normally go for like normally i have my chains sit around here but because it's adjustable it means that i can bring it above the neckline so it just sits really nicely in line with the top <laughs> So 
so I've just been sitting going over my diary for next week seeing as it's Friday just making sure that I have everything in my diary I like to use a paper diary at the moment which is so strange because the past like five years I've been very like heavy on digital but yeah this year I've been completely obsessed with having a paper diary so I've been going over my iCal making sure everything that like my managers put in is in my diary so that I'm fully up to speed and I thought I'd take this moment to talk to you about a little scheduling hack do we call it a scheduling hack like a small life hack which has changed like what I say yes to, how I say yes to things and how I avoid saying yes to things and cancelling later. So I think I got this off, there's a girl called Tinks on TikTok and Instagram and I love her, she's so fun. She's at It's Me Tinks on Instagram and she basically was talking about, I think she got this from someone else but I can't remember but she definitely has done a TikTok on it and it's basically if you're asked to do something you imagine that that thing is happening. This is for introverted people that say yes to things hoping that they'll feel like they're in the mood on the day when actually deep down they just didn't want to go in the first place not extroverts that maybe are just in a bit of a funky mood and don't feel like doing it that day but they know they want to do it on the day that it comes because I have lots of friends that are definitely more in that camp whereas I'm more in the oh, say yes and yeah I just really hope that I'm in the mood for it on that day and more often than not I'm not I'm dreading it and I wish I'd never said yes in the first place but it's basically if someone invites you to do something, imagine that it's like that day that it's happening. So do you want to come to this dinner and you imagine going for dinner that night? And yeah, would you go if it was that night? And I've actually found it really, really helpful. Like there was a friend the other day that was like, oh, let me know if you want to like, it was vague. It was a vague plan. Oh, wow. The lighting today is just terrible but normally if you throw something vague at me it's probably never gonna happen because I just go yeah that would be lovely and things never get organized but I actually sat and I was like would I do this today and I was like yeah I actually would go for coffee with this person today so I was like oh I'm actually free on this date booked in had so much fun and like with conferences and stuff like that that I get invited to like big kind of very big events when they pop up in my calendar now I'm like would I go to this if this was today not all conferences but like certain ones that have dropped in recently I'm like would I go to this if this was today? There are obvious exceptions. There are some things that are non-negotiables that you just have to go to. But for optional things, I hate cancelling and I very rarely cancel things, but I do end up doing a lot of things I don't want to do and feeling very like deflated. Obviously for work things where it's just a non-negotiable, it's really different and you show up and you do your job and you're professional and you perform. But this is more for like, especially for social things, if you're introverted, I get a lot of Hindus. It's not always, and it's not never, this isn't a never, this isn't like a 100% like everything I'm saying in this conversation don't take a black or white starts with it like I very often sit in this like nice happy middle ground where it's not like one extreme or the other so keep that in mind when I'm saying what I'm saying but there are a lot of social occasions that I end up in and I'm just so it's so not my comfort zone and I'm not saying you should never do things that are in your comfort zone but if there are situations where you just know that you do not perform your best which I have learned over the past year there are certain situations that I thrive in like smaller group situations one-on-one -on -one situations thrive and I can really connect with people and I can really add value. Larger group situations I can do, I can speak on stage, I can do, I can do all of those things but they aren't always where I am best placed. This is the new hack and I've actually found it to be very very effective so far so I thought I would just share it in case any of you might find it helpful too because I've obviously heard it from someone else and found it really really helpful. I know there's going to be so many people that are going to be like this doesn't work because of x y and z but if you're an introvert and you really really struggle with saying yes to things and then on the day you are just like absolutely dreading it it might be helpful but like I said I'm not saying don't go to things and don't don't do things that are outside of your comfort zone but it's like cherry picking when we push ourselves how often paying attention to whether we are energized and whether we if we aren't energized by a situation and it's really draining us whether we're going to have the capacity in a general day-to-day -day week to recharge from that and I found that trick really really helpful so hopefully it helps some of you too I also thought I'd quickly take a moment for the book that I'm reading at the moment so many of you saw this in my Amazon haul earlier in the year I think it was in January and said that I would love this book I just want to very briefly update I do love this book I'm not super far in it's quite a slow read there's lots of like case studies and things like that to work through but so far I think I'm about like a fifth of the way in 
I'm really, really enjoying it. And if you are an introvert, I would highly recommend you read this, even if you're not an introvert, to be honest, but you're really interested in how people work. Like there is a little segment on management styles and how extroverts manage introverts better and introverts manage extroverts much better. And honestly, that blew my mind because actually it makes so much sense as to the people that I have around me in my life, but the people that are also on my team and the people that I find super easy to work with and the people that I maybe struggle with working with a little bit more, it makes so much sense to me. So I can't wait to read the rest of the book. I have a nice free weekend this weekend and I'm hopefully gonna blaze through it. I just read a little bit every morning at the moment. It's one of those books. I find self-help books are really nice to read in the morning. I just find it really, really interesting. It gets my brain kind of like ticking a little bit. So yeah, really been loving that. makeup is off that is me out and done for this video honestly i've wanted to take my makeup off since i first put it on this morning you know when you just have those days where you're like this just is not sitting right today there's too much i want to take it off i want to start again i want to do over so yeah feeling very very fresh right now but i am going to leave you guys here my goodness i cannot wait to have my hair done next week it is just not looking its best it needs some real tlc i'm actually going to start vlogging again very very soon because we've got quite a busy week next week which i'm really excited to bring you along with me for that but until then me and my raging pms we are over and out and i will catch up with you again very very soon love you bye